Okay, the purpose of this demonstration, I got to have safe clothing here and jewelry. And uh, the purpose of this demonstration is to assemble the throwing arm and also to put attach it to the uh, base. The way we do that is first we need a, uh, um, a straw. This is a uh, two inch straw. This dowel rod you cut to two and one fourth. And also you notice that all these uh, pieces have been sanded. They look good. You put the straw on the dowel rod, this will act like a bearing. And it'll allow the throwing arm to move easier with less friction on, the, uh, on this dowel rod. And we assemble it like this. You may have to force it in a little bit. And you put it like that. And now the key is the location of this throwing arm assembly. And generally, it varies so, but our, our uh, testing is, has determined that it's, it's, if this is about an inch away from the end of the wood, it's, it's, it's good. You notice that uh, this project has the slot cut in at an angle uh, into the one, one eighth inch hole. So you need to do that to hold the weights uh, that are used as a counterweight to launch the projectile. Now once we've got this lined up, we're going to carefully set it upside down. And this is, gets kind of tricky. We're going to take a nail and we're going to use, you can either use a claw hammer or a ball peen hammer. It's, it's good to have a claw hammer handy because if the, if the nail doesn't go in straight, you're going to have to remove it and get a new nail. I'm going to tap it. Now the nail is just used to tack the wood in place so that you use regular screws to make it a more permanent fixture to the base. Once you've got one side in, you flip it over and you line it up so it's nice and level. Get another nail. It does, you can probably put it in the middle. That might be a good spot. And remember, this is not a permanent fix. This is just a temporary. Uh, if you hit your fingers, just come see me. We'll get you some ice. Now, this one is, is going in at a, at a bad angle. You can kind of get it in there. If you have a problem and you don't get it in there, that's fine. That'll happen. Just take the, uh, the other end of the claw hammer and use this, and you can pry it out. All right? So once you've done that, now the last step is uh, you're going to use some screws, wood screws, and you're going to um, fasten the throwing arm supports permanently to the base. That's it.